I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome for the first time. Um, today I had a couple of things that I wanted to go over. <sighs> I'm so tired, honestly. The biggest main thing is my lack of presence here has been because I've been sick. I don't know what's wrong with me. It all started on January 11th when I woke up and I was super nauseous and like my heart was racing right out of bed. So I woke up like that and ended up throwing up and I like called my mom because I like thought I was dying. Go see baby Jesus, but no, that didn't happen. I ended up throwing up that day and the day after and the day after. I spent like four days throwing up in the morning and I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. That has to be it. And so I got a bunch of pregnancy tests, peed on a couple of those. By a couple, I mean seven, not pregnant. Um, so then a couple days go by, I'm not feeling great in the morning. As the day goes on, it gets better though and I feel more normal and more okay. So a week later and I'm like feeling fine, I go like two days and I finally start eating again because when you're nauseous all the time, you don't really wanna eat because everything you put in your mouth, you're like, this is just gonna come right back out of my mouth. So I haven't really been eating very much and I'm kind of worried about like my mental state as far as that goes, but I went a few days and I was okay and then I ate something again and got sick again the next morning. Right now I'm on day four of not throwing up and we are ring with our fingers and toes and eyelashes fucking crossed that I'm okay now because I'm really really tired of just sitting here all day um, trying not to puke and not getting anything done. I went to the doctor and they obviously gave me a pregnancy test even though I told them I'm not pregnant but they confirmed once again that I'm not pregnant. Um, they also took my blood and then that was it. They told me that I would get blood test results in the mail in a week and to go home and suffer. They gave me anti-nausea medication that I never picked up from the pharmacy because it was $111.17. Now I don't know about you, but I would choose to pay my rent and put the roof over my head so that I have somewhere to suffer and be sick than spend that much on medication to get better. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. The doctor tried to tell me that it was in my head and I was like, um, if it was in my head, then why are my guts in my toilet every morning? Sorry, sir, but try harder. Help me actually figure out what's wrong. But no, they didn't. Um, sent me home. I did not get my blood tests a week from then or even still now, almost a month later. Um, I'm really just disappointed overall in the American healthcare system. And I know that that's something I could complain about for freaking days on end. It's a cash grab. But yeah, that's the first topic. I've been sick and I've been really trying to get out of the funk of being sick and it's just not working and I just keep being sick. So um, I've been staying up until four o'clock in the morning because I know that when I go to sleep and wake up, that's when I feel the worst. So I just didn't want to go to sleep. So I just didn't. And now I'm really tired and I wake up at like noon and I go to bed at four in the morning and everything is messed up so yeah um i have a couple of videos planned that i've been trying to do <laughs> um someone had commented on my last video saying they were concerned um you don't need to be concerned about anything when i rewatched it back it does have like some awkwardly really suspenseful nature to it like it's just me brushing my teeth and taking a shower and like the idea behind it was um the bare minimum of self-care, the bare minimum of what I could put in a video and what I could do because I was so under the weather. But I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know why that video ended up so scary. I have a video planned that is going to be coming within the next month, I think. The video is going to be on the dark sides of sex work because I feel like it's way too glamorized in the public eye. Um, and while that can be semi good for decriminalization and destigmatization of sex work, because guess what? We're people and we all have jobs. You know, you know what's fucked up? You can go buy a bag of heroin on the street in Oregon and not get arrested. You could get arrested in most of the states for having a blowjob for a couple bucks. What's up with that? Fuck America. I'm so tired of this place. <laughs> The working class nightmare. I mean dream. I'm also going to talk about in that video the horiarchy, which is a hierarchy system um, by sex workers for sex workers. And it's not a hierarchy. In all honesty, it's not. It's a leveling of safest to the least safe and the most likely to get you harmed. 
Um, so yeah, that video is coming soon. <sighs> I want to do like an updated fashion video because I haven't for a couple of months now and you know seasons change did a little different fashion for the summer than in the fall i got a bunch of stuff off of sheen recently which i felt really conflicted about because like fast fashion bad but you know wallet good ended up ordering from them for the first time and it was actually really nice like the stuff wasn't made poorly it didn't seem to be of any less quality than it would be if i got from amazon which they're also a sweatshop, so who the fuck knows where you're supposed to buy any shit these days. Support small businesses, but where's the small business that's gonna give me sweatpants that fit me? Send your girls some links. This is the most talking that I've done in two months. Because I have been sick since the 11th of January and it is now the 23rd of February. So yeah, it's been just over a month and a week. Two months. I'm so dramatic. Um, if it is due to anxiety, then it could be related to the stopping of my medication. I haven't had any pr okay, that's a complete lie. I've had such bad, like, little spews of depression here and there, but it's all been related to because I'm sick and I feel like I can't do anything, and I feel worthless, honestly, like, trying to get up and get shit done, and it just doesn't work out, and I end up sitting back down because I think I'm gonna puke. It's been a shit show around here. My boyfriend had his birthday on the 17th. I got him a giant part for his car. I don't even know what it was. He needed it and wanted it, so I got him a car part. And then I also got him a hydroponic growing system, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically growing plants without dirt. It's just a big tub of water and your plants all grow out of it. It's a little more fancy than that. I'll put some pictures in. Um, it's only been a few days, but he's already growing stuff, and I'm kind of shook. I also had planned on doing a video about Euphoria, but then I started watching everyone else's Euphoria videos, and there's so freaking much to cover that I just can't- like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> My brain would explode. It would have to be, like, a video for each episode, and it would be, like, an hour-long video for each of them. Uh, there's just too much to go into, but if you're not watching Euphoria and if you've looked into the triggers in the show, um, a really good website for checking what shows are about before you see them without seeing spoilers, um, IMDB, InternationalMovieDatabase.com. They also have an app, I think? I could be wrong on that. But they provide like a parent's guide and a review and possible triggers, um, anything 18+. I feel like if you're gonna watch Euphoria, you should probably <laughs> check out all that beforehand. It's a super intense show and it touches on a lot of very serious, very real topics. But I freaking love it. It's fantastic to me because like being by myself and getting sober and just not having anyone around because I don't wanna put myself in the party scene because I know myself and I don't wanna go back to that kind of life. Um, being home alone a lot and <laughs> watching Euphoria, it's like watching two years ago of myself and it's scary and I'm so glad that I'm sober and I'm gonna put the National Addiction Helpline in the description. Um, also the National Suicide Prevention Helpline. I think that's all I have to say. I also ordered this cute tiny microphone and I really hope it's doing justice. If I just recorded 12 minutes of me blabbering on and didn't get a good audio for it, I might cry. I hope everyone's having a good 2022 and Stay positive and stay happy. Have a juice pouch, drink some water, subscribe to my YouTube, you know, do all the good things. Test, test, test. Um, okay, this is not a good angle. That's what I have to say. That's it, subscribe, bye. I'm exasperated, exasperated, exasperated. I'm fucking tired. I don't need to add that. That's unnecessary. We all know the virus sucks at this point. It's crooked because of my cat, of course.